this video tutorial I will cover prototype scope. Here I have defined a class employee. It has name property and getter and setter methods for name property. And here I have overridden two string method. This is the Spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned employee bean should be created by Spring container and scope of employee bean is prototype. So whenever we call for employee bean, the Spring container will create new employee bean instance. Here I have defined a class app. Here I have created application context object by reading Spring configuration file. Using getBean method of application context object, getting employee one object from Spring container and setting name as John and displaying employee one object. And here you can see the output. Then again, I am calling getBean method of application context object and getting employee two object from Spring container and displaying employee 2 object and here you can see the output and employee name is null the employee bean scope is prototype scope so whenever we call get bean method new employee objects are created we have called get bean method two times so two employee objects are created in spring container